looks amazing. No, it's not amazing. We need to get home. Come here or I'll shoot you. That's murder. No, this right now, this is murder. I mean, it, yeah, it came out of that. It came out of a dream I had about screaming at my kids for the umpteenth time. Well, we had some very nice lunches initially, me and uh, Martin and Chris. It was a sort of dad's group, really. It was a sort of safe space to say, oh yeah, no, I, I've, I've felt this. Fundamentally, I think we've all felt something like the things that Paul and Ali feel. Do you ever feel like your brain is going to be sick into your own skull? I get that relentlessly most days, yeah. Parenthood is full of guilt, that's essentially. It's like discovering new flavours of guilt uh, every day, that's parenthood. There are things that you wish you could control about yourself that you can't control about yourself. It's just the level of noise. Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, I've got to prep for this thing tomorrow. And... Yeah, I know, Paul, they can be real pricks. I would die for those kids, Ali. But often, I also want to kill them. Yeah. We were just swapping, you know, stories. And I guess that was a kind of bonding exercise, but it was also just bringing out the stuff that might not have come out if you just said, so what's the story of the week this week? Simon Blackwell is an amazing writer. He's so clever and sharp and funny. So when, when I read the script, I was just really blown away by, by the writing and the wit. Ballerinas exist, Paul, I've seen them, Mum. Lottery millionaires exist, conjoined twins exist, sexy racists exist, but they're rare. What particularly interests me is the more dramatic elements and how to make them feel truthful and relatable, but at the same time find the comedy. And that's what it was like. Simon is a master of that type of writing. He can, he can find the laughs in really painful situations. When we become an intolerable burden, we'll head off to Dignitas. Or if there's a cheaper one by then, Easy death. We might be all demented, so we'll leave it to you. So you basically appointed me as your executioner. With this kind of humour, it's the minutiae of everyday life that becomes seen under a microscope and becomes absurd and funny. And we see ourselves in it. We relate to the minutiae of this kind of behaviour. It's a wonderful illustration of farce. You know, John Cleese famously said, farce is what happens on the worst day of your life. And it's true. But their response to it is funny because there is no right response. I can't get out of the fire. There's no f***ing fire, OK? You shouldn't be able to get out anyway because you're seven years old, you'd get run over. No, you wouldn't. Don't start worrying about that now. Christ, how many times? You're madder than the f smoke alarm. Hello, Ali. Hi. This is... You just, uh, your failures present themselves to you when the kids are... When you've got kind of you know, young adults rather than kids. 